It's the most popular transistor radio in history. More than three quarters of a million models sold. Collecting transistor radios has never been easy. They are just not out there in the wild, in the numbers you would suppose them to be, considering that back in the day virtually everyone had one, and sometimes two or three. Where are they? Stored in garages with Uncle Ernie's old stuff? In the city dump? In the sock drawer? Or that junk drawer in the kitchen? where the odds and ends of life slowly pass into obscurity. Well, of all the radios I've had a hard time finding, this Channel Master is one of the least. The least hard time finding, I mean. Not the least radio. Although a case could be made for both. Anyway, while not plentiful, this radio is not rare. And the claim on the box shows why. With 750,000 sold, there are still plenty around, I am sure, even if they're not where you can easily see them and pick them up. This radio made a lot of money for Sanyo. Why Sanyo? Because they made it. And we'll look at the original Sanyo model in a little while. Largish. Yes, and horizontally configured, so this is not a favorite of the folks who primarily collect the shirt pocket radios, but it has its charms, and it didn't sell in those numbers for no reason. Is that a double negative? No, I don't think not. This is one of the later incarnations of this radio, This example's grill is flatter than those seen on earlier examples, and on the Sanyo we'll be looking at. The badge on the grill is a simple flat thing with the electronics symbol of a transistor on it. Earlier, fancier versions had a red, white, and gold cloisonné badge. This 6506C has no screw holding on the back, where the earlier ones did. Inside the 6506C, we see a Sanyo speaker. The radio is powered by 6 volts in the form of 4 pen light batteries that go in a holder. That isn't here. The transistors are branded Sanyo. Now, where's that Sanyo we've heard so much about? Here's that Sanyo. The model 6C11, in the box, I'm pleased to say. It's a pretty nice-looking box, rather conservative style-wise, but attractive and looking like it houses an item of quality. Inside, we find the radio in a genuine leather case. Indeed, according to the list of accessories, the case is made of top-grade cowhide. Not top grain, as we sometimes see, and which has an actual meaning in the leather trade, but top grade, which is an empty boast that sounds good and means nothing. With elections coming up, we're going to be hearing a lot of that. That earlier radio we looked at, the Channel Master, had a case that was felt lined and not any kind of actual leather at all. Let's call it vegan, shall we? But the earlier Channel Masters, like this Sanyo, had leather cases. While we look over the product news sheet that came with the Sanyo, we'll talk a little about the company. Sanyo was introduced to the American buying public in 1970. To U.S. consumers, it was just another brand we never heard of coming in from the Far East, like Sony, Panasonic, Toshiba, Hitachi, Toyota, and Datsun before it. Few of us knew that Sanyo had already been doing big business in the United States as the maker of radios and other consumer electronics items 
branded channel master. So, though Sanyo was new to us, the company itself dates back to 1947. Older, in fact, even than Channel Master, which started in New York in 1949. And here's this good-looking Sanyo. Note the patterned grill and the cloisonne badge. More decorative and costly to make than the simple flat trim items on the later Channel Master. We see on the Sanyo here double earphone jacks where that later Channel Master was reduced to just a single earphone jack. On this Sanyo, one of these jacks is indicated for earphone and the other says it's for earphone or external speaker. And on the back here is the thumb screw that appears on the earlier incarnations of this radio and was left off the later ones. Opening the back, we see that when the thumb screw is loose, it doesn't fall out. That's a nice touch. I think the screw here is referred to as being captured. So keeping a screw like this attached is good for the radio and good for the vacuum cleaner as well. Inside the Sanyo 6C11 are black transistors branded Toshiba. They're cylindrically shaped. And here are the two of them together for your dining and dancing pleasure. I'll let you soak up this floor show for a while, and then we'll look over the owner's manual for the Channel Master. Though it shows the radio with a flat grill, the owner's manual picture doesn't show that transistor symbol badge, but rather the earlier cloisonne badge, this one reading 6TR, whatever that means. Channel Master, Deluxe Transistor, Personal Portable Radio, Model 6506C. And here are the specifications, including the safety tuning dial, whatever that means. Page 4 of this six-panel sheet discusses battery information. The number two tip for longer battery life sounds like my mom. Do not play radio louder than necessary. Even as a kid, I couldn't disagree. I could only suggest that her necessary and mine differed. Your deluxe Channel Master Portable will provide you with many long hours of listening enjoyment. It brings in faraway stations with remarkable ease. Distortion-free, unmatched sensitivity. Rest assured that you now possess one of the finest radios made. And here's the warranty. The instant replacement plus four months free repair guarantee. And at the bottom it says Channel Master Ellenville, New York. And also in the lower corner, Hong Kong. So while the radio is marked Japan, this little manual indicates that it was printed in Hong Kong. The most popular transistor radio in history. <laughs> 